Hey, what is up, guys? It's Dig and Water here. I'm Water, and today I'm going to show you how to install a mod menu for Minecraft PC. So you know, if you got for one point, this is tutorials for one point twelve point two and one point twelve. So all you need to do is you need to go to the link in the description, which I'll obviously leave in the description. You want to go to www. I'm actually just going to paste it because I still got it here. Paste and you know, paste. Okay, apparently I haven't got it on here, so I'm just going to go to www.wizardhacks.com forward slash. And this is for Wolfram. You do have all kinds of mods on here, as you can see. You know, you've got all of these. Uh, Wolfram is a good one. Now this isn't really... You can try it online, but I got banned from Mindplex for five days now. Um, it depends what servers you play it on and what game mode you play it on. So all you want to do is obviously you just want to press download. Mine doesn't work when I press download, so I just right click it and press open in new tab and it will take me to a new tab now. Um, just ignore all this junk. As you can see, you just want to go to. You just want to press skip once you wait the five seconds skip. Get rid of that again. Download. Press current build. As you can tell, again, mine won't work, so open in the tab. Or you want to wait another five seconds. When it's done what it needs to do. Just ignore all that stuff down here. You want to just wait until it's a skip. Want to go to this download section here. I'll also be showing you some of the mods down in a minute. As you can see, 1.12, 1.12.2. I don't get the 1.12.2 because it does not work on my game. So I just go for this one. But I mean, click this one anyway. Because it will work for 1.12.2 and 1.12. You just want to scroll all the way down until you see this. Make sure you get V9. Point five, or unless if you're watching this in the future and there's a better update, then get that one. And then, yeah, oh, let me just move this. I'm on Microsoft Edge Explorer or Microsoft Edge anyway, so you just want to press save, let it do it. As you can see, it says one down here because I've already installed it. And you want to press open a folder. As you can see, I've got two here. So, all you need to do, I've got it. Obviously, you just want to drag it down. As you can see, I've got it because it's down here. So you want to press skip. I'm just going to skip it. You want to just <laughs> launch it. Now, you press install. And it says it will be success installed for 1.12.2. Um, but... It might work for 1.12.2 for you, but for me it just says 1.12. Now, I kept on getting error message 1.12.2, because what you need to do, obviously it still won't work for me, so that's why I have to launch 1.12. But you can still go on all the servers, because it's just the same version. All you want to do is you want to go to launcher options, add new, click on latest release and you should see Wolfram MC. Press that and then press save. And then click this button down here and find your Wolfram here. Press play. Now if you get an error message saying like, cannot install 
press cancel, press play, cancel play, quit Minecraft, go back on it and press play and if it still says it just cancel it again and press play and then it should work. Like it goes like could not save this part. Obviously you need to run Minecraft 1.12 first so then you actually have it in your versions. You know, single player, you know, mod, test mod menu. Like, I'll even show you I got banned on Mineplex. Look. Kicks while it's connected to Lobby 15. G1 cheat detection. You are banned for 5.0 days. so it kind of sucks you know you can uh, play selected world and I'll show you how to open it now I'll put it on screen on what what you press to open it um, you just press control and then you will have all your options and stuff um, my friend is calling me Sam, that's Dig, he's calling me now. I'm just going to tell him that. I'm record one second, guys. I'll be back in a minute. Right, guys, I'm back. So as you can see, you will have... You press these, and it'll bring up a new mod menu and stuff. You know, you've got Ghost and Free Cam. I mean, that's all basically it is. And then you press Escape to get rid of it and stuff. I'm just... I've got a cheat on, but... Oh, and if you want to change this um, down here, you know, like the cool bar I've got, go to Control, go to Hub, go to Tab. Oh, wait. I can't remember how to do this now. Um, Sorry about that, guys. That's my phone. I'm going to put it on Vibrate. Um, wait, I'll be back once I figure this out. But guys, I'm back. So what you want to do is you want to press, obviously go on Hub Preferences. You can choose colour. I've got Rainbow Mode on. You've got Minecraft font. But I just put a different one on. So it's like this. There is a button on Preferences you can do. But yeah, guys, that's basically it. So if you did go and enjoy this video on how to get a Minecraft mod menu, I do not recommend you use it online. If you get banned, it's not my fault. <laughs> go on online servers and hack at your own risk. You can hack in the lobbies and you know when you click on like a game, you can hack on that. Just make sure in the game lobby you hack, but just don't go in a game and actually hack. You can hack on this and play with your friends and stuff. But anyway guys. I'm rambling now, so I'm get, I'm gonna go now. So make sure you go go down there, smash like and subscribe, click the link to install it, and I'll see you guys in our next video. Peace.